The holiday season begins this week, which means 2020 is beginning to wind down and feelings of loneliness and loss have been amplified this year as we live through a pandemic and health professionals want you to know it's OK to not be OK. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes is live this morning with more on this. Kevin. Well, Kelly, seasonal affective disorder by the book is a time of year where we have less sunlight, the, the days are shorter, and it causes that seasonal depression. Now, you throw on top of that this global pandemic that has crippled the economy, separated us from our loved ones, and generally made everyday stress insurmountable for some. We are in for a rough holiday season. Now, people can talk to medical providers and get things like light therapy that have been used to combat the severity of the appropriately abbreviated SAD. But in the year that hasn't given much of anybody a break, it's going to be finding creative ways to come together over the next couple of weeks that will get people through. Stephanie Walnick with Wyoming Valley Alcohol and Drug Services helps some of those with the largest uphill battles to get by. She says whether you're able to get together in person or not, there are some things that you can do to find your way through this season. There is hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, March 21st is coming, is coming. The first day is right, is coming. You know, turning the clocks ahead is coming. You know, if, if you can just see your way through that by, by having hope and finding your passion, finding what makes you happy, whether it's in the picture of a child um, or scrolling through YouTube videos, you know, just, just find that. Now, as we venture into these holidays, many will come together around smaller tables this year, maybe even some using virtual ones this week, starting with Thanksgiving. Now, what's important to remember is that if you are starting to feel that seasonal depression, if you're starting to see someone else exhibit those signs, there are resources and enough people fighting that uphill battle together, again, through this global pandemic. Reporting live this morning, Kevin Hayes. Eyewitness News. Yeah, it could be important to talk to someone. All right, Kevin, thank you.